hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another meal prep video so i'm going to start this video off with prepping some vegetables that i'm going to need for this meal prep but then also for various recipes throughout the week so i needed a whole entire red onion half of it is going to be for one salad and then the other will be for a couple other things that i'll be using them for so i have them sliced and then also diced and then i needed the cucumber for another salad that I will be sharing with you here pretty soon and also some tomatoes for that same salad and then I'm going to be doing a radish recipe which I'm going to show you here coming up very next so I'm going to go ahead and slice up all of my radishes which is kind of a pain but you know they're get, they're really dirty so I had to go ahead and just clean all those up and get them all sliced up and ready to go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and roast up some radishes. I actually saw um, Danielle over at Danielle Diaries um, do this. Well, she didn't roast them. She cooked them in a skillet with some eggs and used them kind of like as a potato substitute. So then I started looking up some recipes online and I saw that you could roast them. So I'm just taking my um, radishes that I have quartered. I'm adding one tablespoon of avocado oil and then also a tablespoon of minced garlic. And then to that, I'm gonna add in some of this Trader Joe's onion salt, cause you guys know I'm obsessed with this onion salt. Absolutely love it. And then I'm just gonna give that a good toss and then put it onto a baking dish that I sprayed with cooking spray. I sprayed it pretty heavily because all the recipes that I saw, it said to make sure you spray it pretty heavily with cooking spray cause these do stick. And then I'm gonna put them into a 400 degree oven and cook them for 30 minutes. I also made sure that they all were kind of um, flush side down. That way they got a good crisp on them. So that's what I'm doing here. And here is what they ended up looking like. They got nice and crispy and they are so, so sweet. You guys would be amazed how sweet these turn out to be. So next up, I'm gonna be making a rotisserie chicken salad. So this is really similar to a lot of the other chicken salads that I have shown to you, but I'm gonna be using a rotisserie chicken. So the first thing I have to do is that tedious task of taking all the meat off of the bones. So that is what I'm doing here first. And then once I have it off of there, I'm just gonna dice it all up. I end up using 16 ounces of this rotisserie chicken. Now to my bowl, I'm adding in two hard boiled eggs that I chopped up. And then I'm going to add in some pickles that I also chopped up. Some of that red onion that I chopped up earlier. And now I'm gonna add in some dill. I don't measure this. I don't measure a lot of my spices as you guys know. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some dill in there. And then of course, you guys should have known, some onion salt. And then I have some of these dried chives. I'm gonna add those in there as well. And now I'm gonna squeeze in a little bit of Dijon mustard. I love Dijon mustard in chicken salad. I just love the zippiness of it. And then I'm going to add in some light mayo. I ended up adding in a half of a cup of this light mayo. And for a little bit more spice, I'm adding in some garlic powder and then also some red pepper flakes. You guys wanna be careful with the red pepper flakes. They can be really super spicy. And then I'm just gonna give that a good stir and it is ready to go. So I will just eat this regular. If I'm eating kind of lower carb, I won't have any kind of bread or crackers with it, but it is really good, of course, with bread or if you wanna eat it with crackers or you can eat it with celery, but I just like to eat it just like this. So next up, I'm going to share with you a cucumber tomato onion salad. This is really super good. I'm gonna have this as a side dish for dinners and lunches this week. So to my bowl that I already had sliced up all my cucumbers and tomatoes and red onion, I'm adding in some plain nonfat Greek yogurt. I'm adding in a quarter cup. To that, I'm adding in two tablespoons of ranch seasoning mix. This is my own ranch seasoning mix, but you can just use the Hidden Valley Ranch one. If I had extra of that, I was gonna use that. It has a little bit more flavor, but this is my homemade one. And I'm just gonna give that a good stir. And then to that, I'm going to add in one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And it may seem like you don't have enough dressing once you start putting this on your vegetables, but once it sits in the refrigerator and it sits there for a while, all the ju natural juices from the vegetables will make it a lot runnier and it's just really good. So you don't want it to be super, you know, you don't need any more dressing than what you think you do. So this is really good as a side dish and it's really healthy for you and it's only zero smart points. Okay, so my second lunch this week is going to be a ground chicken broccoli bowl. And I kind of thought of this because of the orange ginger marmalade that I bought a couple weeks ago. So to a skillet, you wanna add in one teaspoon of sesame oil. And this really is just 
to add a little bit of flavor because I love the taste of sesame oil. Um, the original recipe that I kind of was following, but not really, it called for a tablespoon. You don't need that much. It just, a teaspoon is just fine. It adds just that nice flavor. And then to that, I'm going to add in um, some ground chicken. This is 96% lean ground chicken. And then you're just gonna cook that up until the it's mostly cooked. It doesn't need to be cooked completely through because you're gonna simmer this for a while, but I cooked it until pretty much all the pink was gone. So once that's all ready to go, you're gonna start adding in your other ingredients. So I'm adding in, I added in originally three tablespoons of this sugar-free orange ginger marinade, but I end up adding in another two tablespoons. So it's five tablespoons total of this marinade. And then you're gonna add in one tablespoon of sriracha, and then you're gonna add in the juice of one full orange. This is like a medium-sized orange. And then you're just gonna stir that all around, and you're gonna bring that to a boil, and then let it simmer for about five to 10 minutes, just as long as it takes to get it really nice and thick. Now you guys know the way I like to measure out my bowls is I always weigh out the entire batch of whatever I'm cooking. So I'm weighing out this entire batch of this ground chicken. And then since I want four servings out of it, I'm gonna divide it by four. And then that way I know how much to, of, serve, of each serving to put in my bowl. So this mine ends up being 464. So it's 116 grams per serving. So as you'll see, I'm gonna put my bowl up there. I'm adding in some riced cauliflower to my bowl. And then I'll add in 116 grams of that ground chicken mixture. And then I'm gonna add on some broccoli that I already had steamed up. And so there is my finished bowl. It smelled amazing. I did taste a little bit of the sauce and it tastes really good. I had never tried this sugar-free marinade before. And these come in at only three smart points each if you use all the ingredients that I used. So next up, I'm going to make a dip that I will be dipping my apples in as a snack this week. I've been really liking apples in the evening. And so I, this is gonna be kind of a, I've been doing it with peanut butter, but I've been counting a lot of points for that or almond butter. And so I thought this is kind of a good compromise. So I'm taking some plain non-fat Greek yogurt. I'm weighing out 16 ounces of that. And then to that, I'm going to add in three tablespoons of a powdered peanut butter. And so if you guys have never seen the powdered peanut butter, this is the kind that I use. I get this at Walmart. It's only $10 for this gigantic container of it. And then lastly, I'm gonna add in 15 grams of this sugar-free banana cream pudding mix. This is the only kind I had on hand, but I thought with the peanut butter and the banana would be a fantastic together, but you could use the vanilla, you could use the cheesecake, you could use the chocolate. I mean, whatever kind you want, there's so many of those flavors out there. So just add 15 grams in, and then you're just gonna give that a good stir, and you're just this makes three servings, and it's only one smart point per serving. And this would go great with strawberries, with apples, with whatever kind of fruit. You could even have it with low-fat graham crackers. I mean, this dip, you could, the possibilities are endless. And lastly, I'm going to make a batch of the Skinny Kitchen Ranch because I do plan on having salads this week. So I'm putting in one and three quarters cup of low fat buttermilk and then to that I'm adding in a half of a cup of light mayo and then I do use two packets of this buttermilk recipe ranch dressing mix the original recipe calls for one but I used two and then you're just going to mix that all together I'm adding it to a mason jar and it lasts in the refrigerator for as long as your ingredients are good so this should last me the entire week the whole family likes it so it usually lasts me for about 10 days before it all gets eaten so stay tuned this week and you will see how I will be eating all these for my lunches, my snacks. And if you guys want to see any of my other meal prep videos, they will be here on the screen as usual. So please subscribe if you have not already done so and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.